Hey there, Samantha Garrett here, and today I want to show you how you can access previous versions of non-Google files in Google Drive. So what I mean by non-Google files is anything that's not a Google Doc, sheet, slide, form, etc. So typically speaking, we're talking about like PDF files or images or Microsoft files or any other file format that you might be storing in Google Drive. So a lot of people don't realize that you can actually see the history of these files. So basically what it means is it's not like seeing who's made changes and when they've made changes and what those changes are, but it's actually being able to go back and access old versions of that particular file at a point in time where it was um, synced or uploaded to Google Drive. So I want to show you where this feature is and then I'll explain a little bit more about how it works. Alrighty, so today I'm going to demo this with a PDF file. So you'll see I've got a PDF file here sitting in my Google Drive. So I'm just going to right click on that and there's an option on the right click menu called manage versions. Now you won't see this option for Google files, so Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, etc. but you will see it for non-Google files. So if you're looking for it and you don't see it, just check that you're actually looking at it for a non-Google file like a PDF or a Word file or something. So I'm going to jump in here to manage versions now and you'll see that I've got two versions of this file. So the first version was uploaded um, by me on the 27th of October 2022 and then we have the current version. So basically what happens is any time that a new version of this file is uploaded or if it is synced using Google Drive for desktop which is the equivalent of uploading it um, it becomes a version of this file. So you can come in and upload new versions manually if you want to, but as if you're using Drive for Desktop, it will just manage those versions and those syncs. Now, if perhaps you've downloaded the file and worked on it, made some changes, and then you've uploaded it manually again to Google Drive, as long as you upload it to the same location with the same name, Google Drive will actually prompt you and ask you, do you want to upload this as a new file or as a version of the existing file? So there's a couple of different ways to do it. Now, really importantly, as you'll see here on the screen, that it says older versions of this particular file may be deleted after 30 days or 100 versions. So a couple of points here, it says may be deleted. So Typically what happens is if your Google Drive storage is getting full, then all the versions of these files will start to be deleted, right? So as it says there, if you want to make sure that a particular version is, is kept forever, you can actually click on the little drop down here and say keep forever. Now, also on this drop down, very conveniently, you can download the old version. So particularly if you want to you know, keep that separately or run a comparison, and you can also delete that version if you want to. Alrighty, so that is how you can access and work with versions of non-Google files in Google Drive. Now, if you've got any questions about this feature, feel free just to drop me um, a comment and pop your question in there. I will always get back and answer it. And if you did like the video, feel free to give it a little like and subscribe to the channel if you want more Google Drive tips and tips on other Google tools as well. So that's it from me for today. See you next time.